All right, I think we are ready to go. So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Christian Slavucci, and I am the marketing, marketing coordinator here at Squarex Consulting. Before we do get started with the presentation, I wanted to make you aware of the Q&A chat box at the bottom of your screen. We will reserve time at the end of the presentation to address any questions submitted through this feature. Now, I'd love to get started with our live discussion on purchasing automation in NetSuite for the biotech firm featuring our client, Xylopharm Oncology. So as I mentioned, my name is Christian and I will be guiding the conversation today. Joining us is Christine Legal, the Senior Manager of Accounts Payable from Xylopharm Oncology. She has been an active user of the solution from Squareworks Consulting in their NetSuite environment, and she will be sharing some details of their use case today. So before we jump into Christine's use case, I wanted to give you all a quick introduction as to who we are and what Squareworks Consulting does. We are a boutique NetSuite partner located in Boston, Massachusetts, but we work remotely with clients all over the globe. We see ourselves as a one-stop NetSuite shop offering services from implementation to optimizations, as well as ongoing support and add-ons to enhance your NetSuite experience. Today, we're going to focus on our NetSuite add-ons specifically. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Christine to introduce herself from Anzile Farm Oncology, as well as shed some light on their use of NetSuite within the purchasing department. Thank you, Christian. And thank you all for being part of this discussion. My name is Christine Legal, and I am the Senior Manager of Accounts Payable at Xylopharm Oncology. We are a Boston-based company with our labs in Houston, Texas. Xylopharm is focused on advancing the next generation of immunotherapies. We want to leverage the power of the immune system to help fight against cancer. And we do that by introducing new elements like T-cell, and sleeping beauty therapy. I've worked with the NetSuite ERP system for over three years now at multiple companies. And Xylopharm just implemented the system in January of this year. The entire business is using NetSuite from GNA to R&D with our pri primary users in finance and legal. My main goal for this implementation was to build a system that would help move Xylopharm's P2P process from paper-based Excel spreadsheets to one that was fully automated. This allowed our team to be more analytical rather than just entering data. And I look forward to talking more about this during our event. Great, thank you for that introduction, Christine. So as she mentioned, the main challenge that the AB team was facing with their current ERP solution was that the AB processes were time consuming. They provided little flexibility to the team. They really needed to automate the procure to pay process so they did not have to deal with paper and Excel spreadsheets for tracking. To solve these problems, Christine sought an advanced solution that would integrate seamlessly to streamline and support their AP process. The solution identified was the advanced bill management add-on for NetSuite with an additional approval workflow. Uh, this allowed them to save time and energy, truly optimizing their NetSuite experience. So now let's dive into some more details. Christine, will you share some of the specific pain points you were having prior to finding this solution? Of course. Uh, with a lot of companies, the finance and accounting departments are usually the last ones to get systems and process revamps. It's a kind of, if the system isn't broke, don't fix it mentality. But what the last 15 months has shown many companies is that just because it isn't broke doesn't mean it can't be better. Coronavirus has really changed the outlook of accounting when it comes to corporate America. For Xylopharm, the accounts payable department was considered essential workers. And why was that? Our invoices were still being mailed to the office and someone had to be there to open it. Someone had to scan individual invoices and email them to the individuals for approval. Paper checks were a primary method of payment for us. And someone had to be in the office to print and sign them. Other pain points not highlighted by COVID, but just as important, was our approval matrix and our invoice tracking. They were both in Excel. 
we had to constantly refer to spreadsheets and make sure employees were approving invoices within their approval limits. Invoice tracking in Excel was very limited and prone to errors, especially if you have multiple employees working in the same workbook or multiple layers of approval per invoice. As you can see, we had a lot of pain points facing ourselves when we were looking for a solution and Squareworks had the tools to help us with those problems. Squareworks was the implementation team at my prior employer, and this is when they built and launched the Advanced Bill Management and Approval Workflow Bundle for NetSuite. I remember the bundle being user-friendly and customizable, depending on what the business needed. Since Zao Farm has a multi-layered approval process, which included reviewers, tier signers, and department approvers, we needed something that would plug right into the system. Plus, having our implementation team build something like this from scratch would have been very costly and time consuming. So we had a demo with Seth Duda, the NetSuite solutions architect at Squareworks, where he answered all of our questions. One key point that helped Xiofarm decide on the Squareworks bundle was that invoices and purchase orders could be approved via email without the need of a, use, a NetSuite user license. And we all know licenses are expensive. Awesome. So now moving forward, what are some of the specific efficiencies attained from implementing Squareworks' advanced bill management solution with the approval add-on? So the approval bundle has improved the AP process and cut processing time drastically. With the drag and drop feature, invoices are easily uploaded into the system. No more handling paper invoices and having invoices fall through the cracks. And we all know there's important invoices that fall through those cracks. The OCR technology has cut data entry time in half. It also helps our users when it comes to errors, because we all make entering data errors all the time. So now our users are reviewing the information that the system captures rather than entering it. The biggest efficiency this bundle has helped Xiofarm obtain is better controls with approval routing. The bundle allows you to customize your approval workflow. For example, Zio Farm's approval routing is based on department and location. If we have an invoice for our facilities department in Houston, the system will automatically send that invoice to the proper approvers based on the predetermined matrix built within NetSuite. This workflow differs from the facilities department in Boston, as different employees have the authorization to approve charges in that location. We also have another layer of control built within the system for approval limits. And all these workflows can be adjusted anytime to add or remove users or add delegates for vacation backup. One more thing worth mentioning is tracking invoices is so much easier with this bundle. The, depart the documents sit in the queue until you are able to process them. And there is an easy search for the approval status. If someone wants to know where an invoice is during the approval process, I can easily go into the system and see the current status and approval history. Great, thank you for that. So now we wanna look at a quick overview of how the solution improves the AP process at every step. Christine, if you would like to touch upon how the process has benefited your team specifically. Of course. Uh, this solution really streamlines the process nicely. If you look at step four, three-way match, it's a very important part of the process and it helps users save a lot of time. When you process an invoice against a purchase order, the system will automatically look for a goods receipt to complete that three-way match. If your company doesn't utilize goods receipts, you can use the same feature for two-way match instead. Another thing I like about this solution is that you can have built-in thresholds for your purchase orders. If your company policy allows you to process 10% over the PO limit, then you can have that built into the settings and warnings would pop up every time you hit that limit. 
Great, and now we'd like to jump into what the solution looks like itself. So here is a screenshot of one of the features we had mentioned, the OCR scan, and how the fields are automatically populated in a split screen view in your actual NetSuite environment. As we mentioned, Christine, these features have been lever leveraged in your team, and the OCR processing specifically has cut the data entry process in half. Christine, can you elaborate a little more about how your team uses this feature? Of course, yes. Uh, the upload invoice screen, it allows you to upload as many invoices you want at one time. All you need to do is drag the PDFs from your desktop or an email and just click upload. And that's where the magic happens. <laughs> Advanced bill management uses OCR technology to read the information on the invoice and enter it into the system for you. Vendor name, invoice date, amount, and so on. The bundle even gets the line item information and puts that in the system for you too. This can all be edited during the review process. So you can look through it and make sure the system is capturing it well. Another thing about this bundle is that it's always learning. You may upload an invoice for company A, and the system may read it as company B. Of course, you'll change it during the review process, but the bundle will remember that for future company A invoices. So it's really great. Great, thank you. And now this next screenshot shows the email approval functionality, as well as gives you insight as to how the solution is integrated directly into the NetSuite, NetSuite UI. As for the email approvals, you had mentioned that they were previously being tracked in Excel. Had, has this feature changed the way your team has been able to collaborate and route for approvals? Absolutely. Uh, the email feature is awesome. We no longer have to spend time typing out emails for approval. You just submit an invoice or a PO in NetSuite and an email is sent and the clock starts ticking. This first screenshot is a generic purchase order request which is very simple and easy to read. But the best part about it for Zyofarm was the customizations we made to suit our needs. The second screenshot is an invoice approval request for one of Zyofarm's vendors. We've added custom segments that we had in NetSuite and we actually attached the PDF of the invoice to the email. For purchase orders, we add hyperlinks to our contracting system for more documentation. With all this, our approvers can easily review the information and approve and reject with just one click of a button. No need to go into the system. Awesome, so now that we have seen the solution in depth and you've shared a little bit more about the challenges it was brought in to solve, can you share some of your favorite realized benefits? Our benefits, yeah. Uh, the bundle with approvals, uh, it's really improved our P2P process by flipping it on its head, actually, uh, before the system and before the solution, invoices were entered into the system after they were approved. Invoices were just floating around with insufficient tracking and visibility. Not a big help for a finance department when it came to accruals. Also, our accounts payable department was touching an invoice five to six times before it was paid because of this backwards process. Now that we have the Squareworks bundle in NetSuite, invoices are being entered right away when they are received. We can easily track them and make proper accruals for anything currently in the approval process. The best part for me and my team is that we're touching an invoice two to three times before payment. This gives us more time to move from data entry to analyzing data and being proactive as a department instead of reactive. I always like to say, I'd rather work smarter, not harder. And I feel like the solution really helps me continue to live by that. And uh, I hope I gave you guys some good insight on the Squareworks add-on. Yes, definitely. Thank you for all of that information. It's really great to hear directly from one of our users. Uh, we are gonna open up to questions right now. Uh, we do have one that was submitted already. so. Christine, I don't know if you use this functionality, so feel free to let me know if you don't, but how do the emails work when there are multiple people to, who are needed to approve it? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we have multiple layers of approval within Xiofarm and in the system. Um, we have invoices going to multiple reviewers at once. 
and one person is able to has to approve that invoice for it to go to the next level. You can also build in a customization where you can have everyone approved in that level before it goes to the next level. Um, so you can have multiple people within one level to review an invoice. Awesome, yeah, and I'd like to reiterate the workflow matrices can be really configurable. It's all about if you need multiple people, if there's an amount that you need, or like the location you mentioned with the lab in Houston or the office in Boston. So it really, uh, it solves all of your problems when it comes to that kind of complex of approval workflow. Yeah. Awesome. And I'll wait another minute if anyone has any other questions. Um, but I have one question for you, Christine. What advice would you have for someone who's in the same position you were before you found this solution? Um, I would tell someone to look at the full P2P process uh, from start to finish. There's a, a lot of things that could fall through the cracks when you're thinking about implementing a new system and a, an add-on for this system. And you want to make sure you can find all the pain points, all the bottlenecks, um, so you can have improvement for that process. Uh, you don't want to move uh, a broken system uh, process from one system to another. So I would I'll tell people to really reevaluate their whole process. Mm -hmm. Awesome, that's great advice. Yeah. Well, if we don't have any more questions coming in from the audience, uh, I would like to thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you want to learn more about the specific solution, such as pricing or pre-recorded demo, uh, you can go to this link listed, the advanced bill management add-on for NetSuite. Uh, if you want more information about biotech specific solutions, you can go to our vertical page, which is also listed here, our NetSuite solutions for the biotech and life sciences firm. Um, I will leave this slide up for a couple of minutes if anyone wants my contact information, but Christine, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. It was great to hear from you. Uh, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to our conversation today. Awesome. Thank you so much.